Perseverance is a few billion years too late, but from its current location, it would have seen a wide, sometimes raging river flowing below. If all goes well, it will soon discover what lies on the floor of this ancient river channel. On this episode of Mars Guy. Billions of years ago, a river flowed into Jezero Crater. A river of liquid water is really the only good explanation for what carved this wide, meandering channel that's more than 100 miles long. It either flowed through an existing breach in the rim of Jezero Crater or eroded its own as water pooled on the outside. Flowing lava has been considered, but that wouldn't explain the deposit of material inside Jezero Crater that Perseverance has been exploring. It's not made of lava. And the only explanation for the meandering channel that exits Jezero is that water filled up the crater before breaching the rim and flowing out. There are still lots of questions, like when all this happened, over how long a time period, and whether to call this landform an alluvial fan or a delta, but a role for water is not legitimately questioned. Further evidence comes from observations by Perseverance. Check out the big rounded boulders eroding out of the sedimentary layers. Here's Mars Guy for scale. They likely were carried by raging floodwaters that flowed across the top of the delta fan. And the sloping layers on this hill observed by Perseverance are best explained as the result of an advancing sedimentary deposit related to flowing water. After weeks of struggling across treacherous terrain that's below, and therefore older than the delta fan deposits, Perseverance is finally closing in on the floor of Noretva Vallis, the channel that connects to the one on the outside of the crater. It's named after one of the rivers near the town of Jezero, or Jezero actually, in Bosnia-Herzegovina. The plan is to check out the light-toned rocks on the channel floor. They could be deposits from some phase of river activity, it's also possible that the river cut down and exposed them from beneath the rocks Perseverance is now on. They could be the oldest rocks explored by Perseverance so far, which would provide a more complete picture of the geologic history of the crater. But Perseverance has to get there first. There are still lots of hazards on the channel floor, mostly in the form of large sand ripples. And there's other terrain that's hard to make out what's going on. Any thick deposits of sand or gravel could be a rover death trap, especially if it enters them driving down slope. But at least now it looks like the rockiest terrain is behind Perseverance and the path ahead will safely take it to the river. <laughs>